A lot of people yesterday who brought blankets and just have such kind hearts. And yeah. just that family is just one of many who are so generous and have gone through something themselves and just want right. to give back and make the, a difference. The giving so, spirit, got to love that for yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to need the, probably the uh, coats and the blankets and the gloves heading into the up upcoming weekend as it's going to get a lot colder for us. But the next few days are going to be feeling more like spring as we take a look at the hazards this week. You know, today is going to be the fire weather hazard, gusty south winds, tomorrow windy, and then heading into Friday, severe weather chances, and then heading into Saturday, much colder air moves in as well as maybe some wintry precipitation too. But the Weather Service has a red flag fire warning. They just issued it a couple of minutes ago. This is for Tulsa County up to the north, northwest, throughout portions of southwest Missouri from noon until 9 o'clock tonight. Basically, the ingredients for the spread of fires are going to be present today. Low humidity values, gusty south winds, and those warm temperatures. So please refrain from outdoor burning today. 42 is our temperature. Winds are out of the south at 9. Wind chill of 37 this morning. Heading out of the lunchtime hour. Boy, hold on tight to that lunch so it doesn't blow away as the winds are going to be pretty strong with temperatures into the upper 50s. Yesterday, we hit 60. I think today, 63 for a high, so unseasonably warm weather. Heading into tonight, you got church activities, whatever you got planned outside. Maybe just a light jacket, not really all that cool with temperatures into the 50s. Now, heading into our Thursday, a lot of clouds will be uh, present for us, and even some patchy drizzle and a few isolated showers. It's not going to be an entire washout for our Thursday, but we will see some isolated showers, maybe even a few isolated thunderstorms later on in the day across portions of far eastern Oklahoma. Tomorrow afternoon's highs climb in the middle 60s for us. Now heading into our Friday, take a look at this. Storm Prediction Center has a slight risk or level 2 risk across a big chunk of green country in Tulsa, Bartlesville, off to the southwest. That's just a marginal or low risk, so a strong cold front will be moving in. But wind, hail, even an isolated tornado threat possible across areas of southeast Oklahoma late in the day, Friday into Friday night. So uh, Friday evening, again, pretty bumpy, especially across far eastern Oklahoma. And then on the backside of the storm system, that's when we start to see a little bit in the way of some light snow or wintry mix. This is a look at our American model right here showing maybe a dusting. But looking at a different computer model, our European model is hitting it more in the way of snow and maybe some accumulation. So we will continue to refine all of our computer model data in the next couple of days. But some of our computer models are hinting at some accumulations by our Saturday. But look at these temperatures, 60s, in fact, 68 by Friday. Look at that drop for the weekend. Holy cow, in the 30s with that chance for a wintry mix and some light snow throughout the morning. 48 for Sunday, so we do see a quick warm up. In fact, by the by Monday, 50s, and then heading into Tuesday, highs are going to be in the 60s.